Nazi Party. Mm. Andrew Anglin, who runs the neo-Nazi site, The Daily Stormer. David Duke, former Imperial Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan. Alex Linder, Nazi site, uh, who heads the Nazi site, Vanguard News. Don Black, former KKK Grand Dragon. August Cries, former KKK and Aryan Nation member. David Ridden, Gerald DeLemus, John Ritzheimer, Blaine Cooper, Mitchell Fiore, all of them militiamen from the Nevada and Oregon standoffs. All these people that I just named are representing themselves and organizations and media sites, and they all support Donald Trump. And this Saturday, Cleveland Pol Police Patrolmen's Association just added their self to that list. First of all, I want to thank you all for coming out at such short, such short notice. This is an excellent response um, to the situations that are at hand. Last Friday, Cleveland's own police union, the CPPA, led by President Steve Loomis, voted, don't boo, boo, vote, as Obama said. Don't boo, vote. Steve Loomis, although self-appointed, sits on the Community Police Commission's board, formed out of, the, out of the agreement with the city of Cleveland through the consent decree, which was established back to the establishment of the CPA, which was forged from the tragic Glenville riots of 1968. Mm. That's to give you a history of the CPPA and how it was established. It came out of unrest because of the police issues within the Imagine these old freakish policemen stopping and frisking these ladies because that's what Trump is about. Disrespect. You, give, you, you let him get away with that, stop and frisk, next thing you know you'll be bending over and he'll be looking up on your cabinets. Don't give him an inch because if you give him an inch they'll take him out. And we got to do something more than this. That's right. We're paying them polices, Bill. We're paying their paychecks. That's right. We're going to have to stop paying light bills yeah. right. and then see what they do. That's right. We're going to have to yeah. stop paying gas bills no and, shopping on Friday. and see what they do. No we'll stop. We're going to have to stop paying this, their salaries. Now think about that. All this other stuff we're doing, it ain't working. All right. We're going to have to come up with something new. All right. is on you. Right here, Steve uh, wants to say a few words. Uh, he's from the uh, Cuyahoga County Progressive Caucus. Um, uh, we're pretty appreciative uh, to them for their support. And uh, they're going to be out here getting, trying to get uh, real political reform for us. So if uh, everybody can give them a minute or two of your time. Thank you. Just squeeze that trigger. First of all, uh, thank you all very much for coming out here on a nice, warm, late summer, early fall day. Uh, we've had a lot of warm days this summer, probably due to climate change. But other than the temperature, it's getting colder and colder in Cleveland. And it's getting colder and colder across our country. Yes. The cold began last summer, in the summer of 2015, when Donald Trump announced he was running for president. And usually, when you get a cold, your antibodies fight off the virus and you're back to normal. We all thought that our country's antibodies would fight off the virus and we'd get back to normal. But that didn't happen. No. And it didn't happen because the usual antibodies that we have in the United States, the media, mainstream politicians, and organizations like the Fraternal Order of Police actually became the virus themselves. Yes. Big brother. 
I remember in July, Republican National Convention, about a mile and a half down at the queue, the first night, there was a program called Blue Lives Matter. Blue. Not Black Lives Matter, not even All Lives Matter, just Blue Lives Matter. Blue Lives Matter. That was Arthur Clark, who was Steve Loomis's counterpart in Milwaukee. <laughs> On that evening, we saw the virus spread to our mainstream political parties. I remember about a month ago, turning the news on and seeing at Goody's Restaurant in Brook Park, Mayor Tom Coyne, Donald Trump, Mike Pence, and Steve Loomis. Now, it's one thing if you're Steve Loomis and you're a lifelong Republican, and you decide I'm gonna vote for my party's ticket. But it's another thing if you're Steve Loomis, and you're in the middle of a consent decree, and you're on the community relations the board Speak, that's monitoring the consent decree that's right. to personally endorse Donald Trump. It's quite another thing to then ask your union to endorse Donald Trump. Hey, brother. Now these folks are from the Cleveland Police Union have never thought it necessary to endorse, endorse in a presidential election until now. That's right. That endorsement last Friday was a giant middle finger against all the young black people who have lost their lives at the hand of co hands to cops. It was a giant middle finger to the family of Tamir Rice. It was a giant middle finger to the consent degree. And yes, yes, Steve Loomis and the Cleveland Police Department are part of the virus. Yes, sir. Now, we are left with the question, what to do now? As Kareem said, we raise a little ruckus. We organize, we mobilize, but the most important thing you can do is boo, not vote. You can vote against Steve Loomis by voting against Donald Trump. You can vote against Steve Loomis by voting against issue 32. Thank you very much for coming out. Steve Loomis has continued to be a thorn in the process of police reform. Yes, he has. His agency, his agency endorsement of Donald Trump says that he is not interested in upholding his oath of office, but that he would rather manipulate and deceive the residents of this community into thinking he supports the changes being made within the process of police reform. Steve Loomis has got to go, hey, hey, ho, ho. Steve Loomis has got by a margin of 71% in favor of endorsing Republican candidate Donald Trump. Check, check, check. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Justice for Tamir! Justice for Tamir! Justice for Tamir! Justice for Tamir! Justice for Tamir. But we, the community of Cleveland, we see through the smoke and mirrors of Steve Loomis yeah. Yeah. and the Donald Trump campaign. Yeah. When Donald Trump came to Cleveland for the National RNC Convention, Steve Loomis praised Republican candidate Donald Trump for bringing what he called spice to the city of Cleveland. As if there isn't enough spice and heated issues within our own city. The Constitution applies to all neighborhoods. 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 
The police union's endorsement is another blemish on the city of Cleveland. Yes, yeah. However historical it may be, it is deeply rooted in the hate and systemic racial issues we still see today. Yeah, let's take the street just for a minute. Don't be afraid. For us to come into the streets, block the street in solidarity. Take a knee, take a knee against injustice in this country. If you're able to, that's fine. We'll help people get up. So we we got to keep this in mind. Yep. The city, the DOJ, the Monitor, the Cleveland Community Police Commission all say they want community participation and belief in the consent decree process. And we believe that the Cleveland Department of Police, or rather, and, and that we are to believe that the Cleveland Department of Police have our best interests at heart. But I beg to differ. Yes. Peace instead of war. Peace instead of war. Peace instead of war. Peace instead of war. Love instead of hate. Love instead of hate. Love instead of hate. Love instead of hate. in the hen house. That's what I call him. He's a fox in the hen house. He's pretending that he want reform, but at the same time, you all see what he's doing, right? Y'all see what he's doing, right? If this isn't a fox in the hen house, I never saw one. Uh, and therefore, if Luma stays on this consent degree board, I guarantee you nothing is going to happen. So, has gone against his own terms in the collective bargaining agreement and use his authority or influence to bully and extort. Twice on record, he threatened to pull manpower, once from the West Bank of the Flats while he was arguing with a Cleveland City Councilman, Jeff Johnson, because he was upset with him. And once, as I'm sure most of you will remember, after uh, Cleveland Browns football player Crowell posted something that he felt was insightful and disrespectful to police officers. He threatened to pull manpower from the stadium if he couldn't get an apology and a successful extortion or payoff out of Crowell for the families of the fallen officers. Black love! Matter. Black love! Matter. Come here, son. Come here, minute, son. Come here. Black love! Hold that sign up. Black love! Okay, can't see it back there. Stop being shy. Come on out here with that boy. Black lives matter. 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 We stand in solidarity of who? Charlotte. Charlotte. We stand in solidarity of who? Charlotte. Charlotte. We stand in solidarity of who? Charlotte. Charlotte. Y'all don't need no more Charlotte is. More Charlotte. South Carolina. Y'all fuck. We stand in solidarity of who? Charlotte. Charlotte. If you keep this individual, Steve Loomis, as a police officer, firstly, and if you keep him as a member of the Cleveland Community Police Commission, you're sending a totally contrary message. Yes, yes. So we as an organization and we as a collective of concerned and socially conscious citizens, we call on the mayor to dismiss Steve Loomis. Yes, yes. 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 Steve Loomis has to go. We need to dismiss Steve Loomis from his job as a law enforcement officer, yes. and he needs to be dismissed from his self-appointed position on the Cleveland Community Police Commission. That's right. And and if May if Mayor Jackson will not do it, if City Council won't pose a resolution to get it done, then perhaps Bowen. we can ask. Judge Oliver, mm -hmm. who is presiding yes. over the consent decree, That's right. perhaps we could ask him to at least, as a good faith effort, showing that you want true community participation and belief in this system, dismiss him from the Community Police Commission. Yes. A friend of Trump is no friend of mine. A friend of Trump is no friend of mine. A 
not bring the truth. It's not no, the mind. Mind. Not like the rest of America, we've got angry and frustrated people, and we're not finding it easy to change things. We got to fight for it at the polls, for starters. Right. We've got to be in their face and remind them who they're hurting because, right. to be honest, we really need to be out here on the streets. Yes. Sometimes we're going to hold up traffic. Other times we're going to be disrupting business and money making. Yes. But I can care less if people are inconvenienced <laughs> or uncomfortable yes. All right. yes. when, the, when the lives of citizens, human beings, are at stake. Yeah. Hello, come on, talk to me. Yes. But to the city and to other citizens who choose not to be engaged, if the only reason you'll help is because of those inconveniences, I'll take it. That's right. Trump is a pledge against Cleveland. A pledge for Trump is a pledge against Cleveland. A for others who fear uh, change and social oriented folk mm -hmm. taking your job in the polls, mm -hmm. that com then, yep. if that compels you, then I'll take that from you politicians. Oh, one Black lives! Matter. 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 Black lives. I can't hear you! Black lives! Matter. Black lives! Matter. Black lives! Matter. Black lives! Now, I want to remind everybody, we did it to Crooked Tim McGinty <laughs> at the polls. Say that. Y'all right. saw his fate. That sent one hell of a message. That's right. And I hope we can duplicate it yes. when we need to duplicate it. Don't trust. You got to hold it out so they can see it. Right? I don't trust criminals to protect me. I don't trust criminals to protect me. Now, what I want to remind people of is that coming up in the next um election we've got some issues we need to pay particular attention to yes mayor jackson up <laughs> okay i want to start off with to me what is well i'm going to start off just with one that uh is of particular importance with what we're dealing with right now and that's issue 33. yes speak on it speak on it issue 33 is a charter amendment that seeks to keep or maintain the status quo when the Cleveland Community Police Commission drafted effective policy for the group who monitors and decides over improper police behavior. Matt Zone, head of the Safety Committee and Cleveland City Councilman for, for this war particularly. Thank you. And the city legal department head, uh, Ms. Lang Henry, they decided that they didn't want specific wording that mandates the representation of various communities of color, LGBTQ, mental health, and disabled persons to be particularly mentioned. And these are the Hello. people and these are the people that are the most affected. Yes. Yeah. Hello. The most marginalized. He said specifically that uh, word, putting injecting the wording of diversity was good enough in the absence of actually listing those people. And diversity, as we know, could just mean east siders and west siders. That's right. So among other things, he also felt it was a great idea that city council and mayors pick who go on that citizens police review board. And we know that that's ensuring and maintaining the long history of cronyism, and biased judgment and lastly in regards to issue 33 I want people to know that the executive head of police can actually fire the head of the citizens police review board oh, no. right, y did y'all hear that so keep in mind in that regards that uh, you're going to have somebody presiding over a body that's going to be scared of losing his or her job and um, I don't know how unbiased an opinion or assessment we're ever going to get from an individual that's put in that position. Right. Right. Disarm the cops! Disarm the cops! Disarm the cops! Hey. All right, look, this the issue that needs to be addressed is ballot issue 32. And there's a 
this questionable issue that's on the ballot is regarding funding for police. <laughs> now, all I'm saying is that that's like paying for your own assassin. All right, yeah. all right. Now, or you're paying for the assassin of some of the people that you con that you're concerned for and that you love. Mm -hmm. Now, also that money is going to pretty much go towards the mil further militarization of that organization who's proven they can't handle it. It's going to go towards paying for the lawsuits and settlements that they keep accruing. So in that regards, why would we vote to give more money to an organization that hasn't proven worthy of our trust and worthy of doing what's best with the money that we give them? So before we give them money, they need to clean up their acts. So this perhaps needs to uh, be voted on next year once we see some uh, good faith gestures and actions being uh, done. And they could start off by getting rid of Steve Loomis's ass. Steve, Steve Loomis, Loomis got the good stand. Black Lives Matter, we stand with Charlotte. Black Lives Matter, we stand with Charlotte. Black Lives Matter, we stand with Charlotte. In this particular election, we're not going to be dealing with all of the city councilmen, but um, pretty much we've just been rubber stamping who's been in that position. I think we st need to start taking notice of what they vote for and who's not voting, who is voting, and so forth. We need to hold them accountable. What we see going on nationwide and also in this city is a lack of and a tradition of no accountability. So I'm asking that we pay particular attention and we need to make them understand that we're not cool with this, starting with the message that we send when we vote down issue 33, when we vote down issue 32. They got to come back and come back correct, and then we can deal, then we can deal with things a proper way, because right now what I see around me, I see a diverse group of concerned citizens. Yes. I see a voting block. Yes. All right. Yeah. Speak on it, brother. All right. Come on. So with that, with me seeing this voting block, this each person here, we can make such a difference if each person here chooses to tell 10 to 20 people and convey quite honestly and quite convincingly, if you commit, vote no on issues 32. 32. And, and vote no on issue 33. 33. Demonstration. If you take nothing home from this demonstration, just take home the fact that we're voting no on issue 32 and issue 33. Stand with Columbus. John we stand Trump. with Columbus. Kareem King. There are many atrocities in Ohio, y'all. We stand with John Crawford. We stand with John Crawford. We stand with John Crawford. And let's not forget Tanisha Anderson, y'all. We stand with Tanisha Anderson. We stand with Tanisha Anderson. We stand with Tanisha Anderson. And we cannot forget Brandon Jones. We stand with 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 Brandon Jones. It is important to remember these atrocities, y'all. They happen in our city. We stand in solidarity with Columbus. We stand in solidarity with Columbus. If you're able, if you're able to do that, if you're able to do that, then I think that we can send a clear message, and that clear message will be heard the same as the message we sent when we unseated McGinty. And I think that from henceforth, I think we'll actually have some politicians that will actually act in our best interest for a change. <laughs> if not, we'll be, we'll be there and we'll uh, make sure that they lose their job. That's right. Vote them out. Vote them out. Pretty much what we're in the midst of, you know, we're in the midst of a, uh, 
a, a, a bad Hollywood good cop, bad cop routine. You got the city acting as if they want uh, community improvements and reforms and to renew relationships with the community. And then you've got Loomis representing, you know, the, the, the real side of how they really feel. And so the hollow gestures of barbecues, <laughs> bike rides with cops, and so forth, they're pretty much unnecessary un and, and, yeah. and meaningless until you do the right thing and you need to get rid of Steve Loomis. You need to actually get him off of the Cleveland Community Police Commission. Yes. He got to go. He got to go. He got to go. Loomis got to go. Loomis got to go. So, go. And, and as for you know, as long as you run and as for those union members who say, well, you know, there are some good cops. We're not all bad apples. <laughs> well, they can show us. Show us at your elections That's right. and get rid of Steve Loomis That's right. because he's giving you That's a bad right. rep. That's right. Otherwise, That's if right. Steve Loomis stays there and is representing you, That's right. we know what you're dealing with. Now, we know by the recent um, releases in the media that members of the Black Shield do not support Donald Trump, and they do not support Steve Loomis's decision, as um, and the decision of the greater organ, the greater union organization, the CPPA, for endorsing Donald Trump. And what he has done, and I'm talking about Steve Loomis. Mm -hmm. What he has done is help to further alienate minorities. So now That's it's right. not just minority citizens; it's the minority officers and also the officers who actually have some empathy, some compassion for minorities, he's alienated them. So now it's up to them and it's up to those other officers to understand that silence is violence. That's right. Silence is compliance. That's right. And they need to also go and unseat Steve Loomis. Cuyahoga County Progressive Caucus. Thank you, sir. Come on. Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice. All right, come on. I just live in the city. All right, live in the city. Come on. King, voter registration. Registered to vote voter here. Registration. If you're not registered. Voter registration here. Who else is out here? Listen. What group? SEIU canvasser. Yay! All right, say it again. SEIU canvasser. All right, all right. Uh, who are you? Workers World Party. Workers World Party. American Friends Service Committee. Yay! America what? Friends Service yes. Committee. Yes. America Friends Service Committee, yes. Yeah. Cleveland Peace Action. Yay! Cleveland Peace Action. Oh, that's right. Come on. Showing up for racial justice. I'm a community Woo! member and a teacher. Showing up for racial justice. I'm a community member and a teacher. Community yeah. member and a teacher. Come on, who are you? Janet Lair, live in Cleveland. I'm a teacher. Janet Lair, a teacher. Come on. Council on American Islamic Relations. Council on, uh, on American Islamic Relations. E American Islamic Relations, yes. Yeah. Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice, brother. Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice. Resident of Hoff. Resident of Hoff. Showing up for racial justice. Y'all represent who? Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Come on. Student. Student, we love you. Loaders. That's important. Student, too. Northeast Ohio Black Health Coalition and the Cuyahoga County Progressive Caucus. Northeast Ohio Black Health Coalition. Black Health Coalition. And the Cuyahoga County Progressive Caucus. And Cuyahoga County Progressive Caucus. Boy, we got it going on. Who are you? Students. 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 We love students. We love students. Who are you? Tamir Rice Justice Committee. Tamir Rice Justice Committee. Who are you? Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter. Black. Who are you? Friends and students. Friends and students. We love students. Who are you, sir? Clevelander. Clevelander. All right. Who are you, ma'am? Community. Community. Who are you, sir? A Jew for racial and economic justice. A Jew for racial and economic justice. Who are you, sir? St. John's Episcopal Church, Ohio City. St. John's Episcopal Church, Ohio City. Who are you, sir? Showing up for racial justice. Showing up for racial justice. Who are you, sir? Concerned citizen. Concerned citizen. Who are you? Come on, I get, I've been to you already. Okay, okay, Progressive Caucus. All right, and? A Christian. A Christian. 
All right, all right. Uh, did I miss anybody? Come on, come on. I don't want to miss nobody. Who are you? MSAS change agents. Say it again. MSAS change agents. Social work students at case. Social <laughs> worker students at case. We love students. Say it again. They we do. Students from case social change agents. All right, all right. Did I get you? Who are you all? I am with everyone. All right, you I'm with a everyone. citizen. Yes. I'm a social worker. Yeah. Civil liberties lawyer. Civil liberties lawyer. We got everybody out here today. What a blessing. What a blessing. I miss y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. Who are you? Interreligious Task Force. Interreligious Council. I know you was nice for some reason. Interreligious Council. All right. Can I get